Hey, it's Clarence, and I'm here to learn you a thing or two about the creatures that inhabit the wasteland and how not to be horribly mutilated by them. First up, we got the very bottom of the food chain, rat roaches. These things evolved from pre-war insects known as cockroaches. Yeah, that's seriously what they call them. They're a bit bigger than their ancestors, but they're positively puny compared to some of the other shit you can come across these days. They can be found all over the place. Old ruined buildings, dark caves, abandoned vaults, up your ass. Rad roaches are pretty much just pests. What passes for pests these days, anyway. They aren't capable of much more than jumping and lightly nipping at you with their stupid rad roach faces. It's pretty much impossible to be killed by rad roaches. Unless you're some newbie vault dweller, that is. One slightly tougher version of rad roach can be found in the Commonwealth, called glowing rad roaches. They're highly radioactive, big shock. Not that I have to worry about that, of course. See, there are perks to being a ghoul. <laughs> Kill me. Rad roaches in the Midwestern area are a bit different from other rad roaches. They're tougher, meaner, and have toxic saliva. Oh, but Clarence, you pussy-ass bitch, they're still just rad roaches. Who cares? Oh, you'll care when you meet Roachor. What's so special about Roachor? Oh, nothing much. He's even tougher, his toxin is much more potent, he glows with radioactive energy, and, uh... Oh yeah, he's the size of a fucking car! Knowing the kind of sick jokes the Wasteland Gods like to pull, I doubt Roachor is one of a kind. Ugh, just awful. Then again... What if we could tame them? Well, Roachor aside, your common rad roach is still pretty easy peasy part cheesy to deal with, so I'm giving rad roaches a pants shitting score of one. Join me next time when we'll be moving on to something a bit more pleasant. Bloat flies.